Good morning, beautiful people. I'm Alex and this is Gingerhead & Co, my sewing vlog. Today, the third part of my tutorial, how to make a vest out of uh, scraps. And today I'm going to show you how to hem the vest. I'm going to use my cover stitch machine and I'm going to show you how to hem in the round so that the stitches overlap neatly. And I'm going to show you how I do it so that there is no excess of fabric. So you are cover stitching, covering the fabric, but not leaving a lot on the wrong side to be cut off because cutting off is never a good idea. You can damage your fabric. Obviously, you can do it on your domestic machine using um, a zigzag stitch or any stretch stitch of your choice. If you don't need stretch, you can even do it uh, with a straight stitch, but then you, your fabric needs to be stable. I hope you enjoy it. Let's hem it. So I don't use guides, but if you prefer to use various guides, obviously, please do. Again, a Lego block or something like that is quite popular. Obviously you can use a guide, magnet guide, but I don't. But I do have my markings here, so I know where my inch or one and a half centimeters, which is five eighths of an inch, or one inch, which is two and a half centimeters and so on. So I can rely on that. And I, I don't, do anything apart from checking with my fingers, constantly checking with my fingers, is my uh, if my fabric is lying precisely, like my hem is precisely folded so that it's caught by by the needles, right? And it's important that that bit is important. So whatever happens here matters because it's going to be stitched down. Let's go. got a seam and seams always distort the fabric slightly so I'm going like that removing the cut my fabric as I go, making sure that it's still the hem allowance that I want it and that it is going to be caught by the needles. I use clips to to warn me that I'm coming to to the seam because I have to do something else. Fold my two centimeters in my case and then I'm holding the fabric like that so slightly on the cliff going through the seam because it distorts my fabric. I'm carrying one. And I'm nearly done, so I'm snipping my tails. I'm going through the first few stitches. And let's see. And okay, it's not perfect, but I blame my squiff. But what I wanted to show you is that I cut the fabric, sometimes too much of it, that 
there is like slightly like a millimeter or so sticking out it shouldn't shouldn't have happened <laughs> but what I mean in most places I've caught it right just under the hem okay and normally I can <laughs> I can actually do it properly but that's that's my end so nothing is coming out the fabric is cover stitched so there are no raw edges visible okay and there is no well huge excess of fabric apart from here in this spot but that's that's i'll do better next time but it's almost okay it's, it's not big but but what i mean you don't really need anything apart from your hands because you can feel where your fabric ends and with the help of any sort of guide you can you can stick a um, masking tape here a piece of masking tape if you don't have any any guides here on your machine but it's easier to learn without using any folding mechanisms any um, extra feet and it's okay it's it's absolutely perfectly okay it's even it's level so you probably need a bit of practice but you need a, a bit of practice when uh, you buy folders as well so i suppose it's easier to learn because then you don't need to change anything you don't need to add anything you just go and it's perfect every time even if one millimeter is sticking out you can see it in ready to wear as well well as you wash it you will probably it will probably disappear anyway right <laughs>